Hey, at Blogosphere. I'm back working on the rusty bits of my MG today. In the previous episode, it got two new rear chassis legs and a tidy up of the front right hand side. And now I've got it flipped over the other way, I found some nonsense going on here on the front left. The British Leyland way of making cars is to use as many small panels as possible to avoid having to spend money on big high power press tooling. And as a result of that, this part of the car is rotten where five panels are brought together. So I'm going to have to unpick quite a lot of seams to get this fixed including chopping out some bits that are actually good in order just to get access. But there's no other way to do it, so let's get to it! It looks like this panel here, which is the bottom of the box that's above the passenger's feet, uh, is basically okay apart from maybe one little hole here. Uh, so shouldn't have to chop anything off that, which is a relief. But in order to save this edge, I'm going to have to chop off this flange that used to be part of this piece here, which means getting rid of these spot welds. Um, access isn't exactly great in here, so I guess I'll be doing this with the finger sander. Yep, I think that'll be okay. There's a little hole here, but it's too small to worry about patching. I'll just build that up with weld. Uh, yep, otherwise, happy with that. I'll join the new piece onto it. This flange that goes underneath this piece is also rotten. And of course, it's rotten in an area where it's two panels overlapping each other. So I'll have to chop them both out and make two repair pieces. Deep joy.
so ergonomic. That actually went better than I thought. I had to chop a corner off this previously uncounted sixth panel to get access, so now I need to weld this repair piece in. Well, I had never even been here. I put new flanges on this bit where I had to cut it out of the piece before and I've got a little bit of paint where it's appropriate so now I'm ready to stick this bit back on and cover it all up again. That's all stitched back in and plug welded along here, so now I just need to make this last little bit of flange. That's that hole sorted and ready for paint. All the panels and joggles are in the right order, so I think it looks reasonably OE. Alas, that's not the only hole on this corner. Ah, yeah, that's much better. That took care of the rest of this corner as well. Excellent. So with the front sorted, it's time for me to return my attention to the back section and sort out this rotten boot floor. I've got a whole heritage replacement panel for the boot floor. Since there were so many holes in the old one, it would have taken me an age in patching. And in theory, this should just fit right in the hole. So the next step is to make a hole. I'm not 100% sure what this bit is. My best guess is that it's a seat belt mounting point for the rear seats. I know this is officially a 2 plus 2, but it's not really practical to get people in the back of this thing, so um, yeah, I don't think I'll refit this.
as is always the way, the more you remove, the more holes you find that need repair. So I'll have to chop this bit out of the way for access and then chop a hole and repair that bit as well. This is the MG way. So with the chassis legs patched and all the mating edges as tidy as I can be bothered to make them, it's time to see if the new boot floor fits. Let's find out. <clears throat> I have no idea which way around this is supposed to go in from. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, well, interesting. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well this fits. Side to side, it's perfect. The car is the right width. I mean, you know, give or take a millimetre. But, you know, went in for starters. I didn't have to cut it down the middle. Um, the back edge isn't quite so good. Let me get you in here uh, for a closer look. So with it sitting in about the right place in the flange on the front, it's touching here in the middle and the back and there's gaps on the sides. Now, this area on my car does appear to bow in a bit. The back edge of the, boot, the new boot floor is a nice continuous curve, whereas I've got a bit here where it touches and then gaps to the sides. Now, back in the day, there used to be a tow bar on this car. Very practical tow car, obviously. Um, I don't believe it should have been bolted through the body, but um, there was a big bracket behind the bumper in the middle. So maybe that's led to some clearancing having been done at some point in the car's life. Um, so maybe I could beat that back out and pull some of this in. That would certainly allow me to take care of this side. This is just sort of a couple of mil here and there. On the left, there's a bigger gap. Sort of five, six mil in, in places. Um, so that's going to require a bit more massaging, but overall, not too bad.
the lower balance is more or less at right angles to the car on the far side, but on the near side it sort of flares out a bit, which is where some of this gap's coming from, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. And doesn't that look nice? With the boot floor done, I've reached the end of the underneath work for now, although I'm sure there'll be more along in due course. So it's time to set the car back horizontal and get on with some work up top side. However, you've seen more than enough angle grinding for one episode, so you'll have to wait to see what happens next. Thanks to everyone who subscribes and comments. It does help bring me a bit of motivation to keep getting on with this seemingly never-ending restoration. And that's it for today, so I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.